Welcome to today's video. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to make use of Bing AI to um, how to use Bing AI as your um, English instructor and it corrects you when you're wrong and it also helps you to um, answer question and have a proper conversation on the chat. So let's say you are learning English or probably you want to um, learn English and then you already have basic knowledge of English already. So you decide to actually see um, how it works to test your skill. You can actually do this. Or let's probably say um, this is actually the first time you've never used, um, you've never learned English before and you want to learn English. So open your Bing AI, start the chat. So once you start the chat, now I'm going to actually ask um, Bing uh, the best place to learn English. So you actually need to look for the resources first. Okay. All right, guys, so I'm using this particular one. You can just go ahead and do any language you want to learn. Let's say French or any other language. So I chose this because I actually wanted to um, give me the resources. And you can notice it's pulling up the search on the web for me. And then after pulling it up, it's giving me some information and everything. And then the reason why I love, um, the reason why this uh, Bing AI is very interesting is actually that it includes um, the link or the resource link for you to actually look at. Now you can see that it says um, is a website that provides you English lesson on various topics such as grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation, writing, listing, and a lot of things. So it also listed Duolingo and each time it lists any result for you, it actually leaves the link. So you can always go ahead and click on either of the link, any one you choose, and then you can start learning. And it's also still pulling information. So let's allow you to finish pulling up this information and we're good to go. All right, so it finished pulling up the information and the last one is actually called English. So this is actually English Club and you can see the website is um, a website that offers English level, um, English beginner level lesson and your activities. You can learn basic grammar, vocabulary, pronunciation and more. So once you finish learning English from going to this website, you can always come back and practice your English with um, with Bing AI. Now this is exactly how to do that. Let me show you guys my previous um, conversation about this so this is my previous conversation i'm just pulling that out so um i started this conversation by saying i'm learning english let's have a conversation about ronaldo versus messi and correct me every time i make a mistake with my english so um the ai already know i'm learning english so it's taking its time to actually um read up the information have a conversation with me and also correct me so this is actually how he started the conversation hello this is bing i am glad to um i am glad you are learning english and let's have a conversation about ronaldo and messi i will correct you i will correct your mistakes as we chat and then i had this particular conversation i did not do this on purpose though but okay yes i did this on purpose because i ignored the d and some um other letters so it was able to correct me saying um here are some corrections for you and after everything he told me i made some mistake and uh, you can see i see uh, you think um Ronaldo is better player blah, blah, blah. and then he corrected all of my spelling by telling me i made some errors and he said instead of me using this so my sentence should look like this i think ronaldo is better player because he has played in different leagues and performed very well and you can read also what i also listed here so i made a mistake on purpose and then below i did not actually think i made any mistake right here but i still got some correction from the ai and looking at what it says <laughs> and looking at what it says is actually very correct so making some error in um in my grammars either intentional or unintentional you actually learn a lot by using bing so what i'm trying to say is 
let me go ahead and start a new conversation so you actually see exactly how this works so all you need to do to start a new conversation while the bing is open click on let me go back okay i can't go back so let me just click on the history so that you actually know what to do so let's say you're having a conversation right with bing and you decide to start a new conversation all you need to do is to click right here this particular area so once you click on this this actually clears all of the recent chart and then leave you with a blank chart so to start i am going to paste the same language um the same sentence but i am going to change this um from ronaldo versus messi to a different player so i'm going to make this mba mbappe okay there is a typographical error mbappe versus haaland All right, so once you're done and I'm going to click on send and you will notice Bing is going to take some time to read this and after reading it, it's going to process and then it's going to um, proceed by telling me that it's going to answer my question for you. So you can notice it's still the same thing. Allow it to load, still cooking. Let him cook. All right, guys, so it actually took so, some time for Bing to actually process this and then eventually come to an ending now the message is actually so long and i didn't expect this the reason why is this long is because this is actually on default under creative but if i'm actually using a precise answers i think this will not be this long so you can notice all of the information saying um hello this is bing and then i'm glad you are learning english i can help you with your grammar and vocabulary let's um talk about Messi and Haaland, the two of the best uh, players in the world right now. And then you can notice more information saying, first, I want to correct some mistake in your message. You wrote, I am learning English. Let's have a conversation about Haaland versus Messi versus um, Bappi versus Haaland. And correct me um, every time. Oh, I actually made a mistake. So then he says, um, here is a better way to write it. I am learning English. Let's have a conversation about Mbappe and Haaland. And correct me whenever I make a mistake. Okay, with my English. Corrected, correction, accepted. And also, guys, just know that um, even though this is AI and this is a bot, just know that it's not all 100% um, uh, perfect or 100% accurate. But most of the time, it's accurate. So it listed um, my errors and then still listed more of them. I can still read it, and but it's going to be wasting a lot of time on our video. And if you scroll down, you can actually notice where he started the conversation. Now, let's talk about Mbappe and Haaland. They are both very young and talented players who have scored many goals for their clubs and countries according to the web search result. If you click on this link, it's going to take you to actually the resource where he pulled that information from. And then he continued further to say Mbappe is more versatile and creative than Haaland. He can play on the right and on the left in, or in the middle. He can also create and finish chances for himself and his teammates. He won more titles and awards than Haaland, including the World Cup in 2018. And then there are so many information, including about Haaland and his powerful and efficient than Mbappe. And a lot of information goes in. So if after everything... He also continued this conversation, which is very important. Now, he says, why do you think Mbappe is um, better? Um, sorry, who do you think is better, Mbappe or Haaland? And he also listed why. So, and he also listed the sources of um, his information. It also listed the sources of his information. So, I can continue by saying... Um, Alright, so I'm done typing and I'm going to send it. So once I send it, it's going to take some time to read my message and it's going to um, start sending in uh, its reply. And now you see, you notice it says, I see um, you have a good point. Mbappe is indeed, Mbappe has indeed um, won a lot of trophies and for his team and himself, he is one of the most decorated players in the world. However, I want to correct your mistake. Once again, this is also okay. This is also fine. 
Then um, I think Mbappe is better, has won a lot of trophies and all this stuff. Here is a better way to write it. I think Mbappe is better. He has won a lot of trophies for his teams and also a lot of individual awards. I think this is very similar. Um, I can't actually see. Oh, I, uh, instead of comma, I put a full stop. Okay, no problem. Then um, it went on to actually explain the reason why um, error, and now it went on to continue with the conversation, which is actually what we are interested in, giving us a proper conversation as if we are talking to a human, but is a bot. So guys, this is all I want to show you on today's video. You can easily have the um, Bing AI as your personal instructor, as your personal English instructor. After the whole learning, you just need to actually have someone to talk to because you can't depend on your friend all the time. So most of the time you can just have your AI talk to you and you know if you are good. But also talking to your friend will also help you to know if you are getting better at what you are practicing so let's say you are practicing a foreign language let's say spanish or french and definitely guys you will need a lot of help from your friends but you can also do it on bing but even though bing can do it your friends can also do it better but whenever your friends are not available bing is also um, available for you as a backup so i hope this video is helpful guys um, let me know if you have more questions about this ai and i'm going to make more videos for you See you on my next video. Please stay safe and peace.